the probability of a bomb hitting a target is 1 by 5. Two bombs are enough to destroy the bridge. If six bombs are aimed at a bridge, find the probability that the bridge is destroyed. Six bombs are aimed at a bridge. That means six number of trials is six. Probability of any bomb hitting a target is 1 by 5. That means it remains constant for all the 6 bombs. So 1 by 5 can be taken as P and 2 by 5 can be taken as Q. Constant probability of success and failure on hitting each and every bomb. Why P is 1 by 5? Ultimately we want to find the probability that the bridge is destroyed. The bridge can be destroyed only if a bomb hits the target. So, probability of hitting a target becomes P for us and probability of not hitting a target becomes Q for us. The general probability for what we are going to find the final answer becomes P always. Now, what do we mean the bridge is destroyed? Two bombs are enough to destroy a bridge. Two bombs are enough. So, if out of six bombs, two or more are on the bridge, the bridge is destroyed. So, the probability that the bridge is destroyed means probability that two or more bombs are successfully aimed at the bridge. So, R should be greater than or equal to two. This is the case of at least two bombs are successfully aimed. That means 1 minus P of R less than or equal to 1. That means 1 minus P of none plus P of 1. To get the probability of at least 2, we have two ways. Either we can calculate probability of 2 or more, that is 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. We have to find 5 probabilities and then summation becomes the final answer. Or we can find the probability of complement event and 1 minus probability of complement event also gives us the answer. So, now first of all P of 0, so P of R equals to NCR into P raised to R into Q raised to N minus R. First P of no success or 0 is 6 C 0 into 1 by 5 raised to 0 into 2 by 5, not 2 by 5, it must be 4 by 5. 4 by 5 raised to 6 minus 0 means 6. 6 C 0 is 1. Anything raised to 0 is also 1. Now 4 by 5 raised to 6. 4 raised to 6 as well as 5 raised to 6. What is the result? 4 by 5 it is 4 0 9 6 yes. And 5 by 6. 1 by 6 2. Yes, 15,625. So this becomes the answer 4096 divided by 15,625. Now, probability of one success is 6C1 into 1 by 5 raised to 1 into 4 by 5 raised to 6 minus 1, that is 5. 6C1 is 6 into 1 by 5 raised to 1 is 1 by 5 into 4 raised to 5. It is equivalent to 2 raised to 10, 1, 0, 2, 4. 5 raised to 5. If 5 raised to 6 is 15,625, 5 raised to 5 must be 15,625 divided by 5. 3, 1, 2, 5, is it? 6,144 divided by 15,625, is it? Now we want the final answer as 
divided by 15,625. 15,625 minus 10,240. It is 5,000. 385 is it divided by 15,625 now can, you can simplify your answer or you can get the answer in decimal values 